Hello and welcome back to the series where we're going to be testing out top rated face masks sold on Amazon. Today we have the Weta. This is the KN95 face mask. And the first thing that caught my attention from this box is that it actually claims to be greater than or equal to 95% filtration, which I hope that they pass a filtration test because it'll be a little embarrassing if it doesn't. Um, they also claim to be skin friendly, breathing, uh, breathing easily breathable and it has five layers so let's go ahead and open the box up so these are black masks and they are individually wrapped let's go ahead and open these up i really like the face masks that have the nose wiring inside of the face mask it just looks better and i also feel like you can play with it more so that it frames your face i do agree with the claim that it's skin friendly the inside of it is pretty soft so let's put it on It doesn't have any bad smell or anything, which is good. It does, see, I feel like it does frame the face very nicely. And the fit is pretty good. They fit pretty good. It doesn't make my ears go like this. And the straps are pretty stretchy and sturdy. If I pull it, they're not going to come off unless I like, you know. Something that did call me off guard is that they are very thin for them to be claiming that it is a five layer. Um, so I kind of want to open it up. I did go ahead and cut off a little piece from the face mask just to make sure that their claim of five layers is true. And it is. It is five layers. I don't know how, how good you guys can see, but this is one, two, three, four and five so that claim is true here is a listing the weta weta k95 face mask 20 pack the price right now is on sale for 16.78 which which is roughly around 85 cents a mask which is a really good price they do have a 4.5 out of five rating and they have over 7,000 reviews but obviously the most important thing to take out from this video is the filtration so let's go ahead and do our filtration test with our TSI machine and see if they pass when interpreting the results of the filtration efficiency test F stands for airflow rate Mask and respirators are tested using an airflow rate of 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. P stands for penetration percentage. The example shown is a BNX testing, and as you can see, they tested less than 5% particle penetration, which means 95% or higher filtration efficiency. This is our TSI machine, model number 8130A. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH, and the way that this procedure works is by completely sealing the mask with glue to the testing plate. Then we attach the testing plate to the frame and place it under the TSI holder for testing. Our first test result is point 41% penetration, which is equivalent to 99% filtration. The second mask tested at 0.85 penetration, which is equivalent to 99% filtration. We're back now, and as you guys saw, both of the face masks passed the filtration test. I will have the results somewhere here as well so you guys can see it. But unfortunately, they also have a claim that they are breathing easily, basically saying that they are breathable. And according to our test, these face masks are not breathable. The second face mask ha had a pressure drop of 21.1 millimeters of water, which is equivalent to 206.62 pascals. Although the quality and the fit were pretty standard of these K95s, we wouldn't be able to recommend them because it doesn't meet the k 95 requirements. We hope that you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to recommend any face mask or respirator that you would like for us to test out next. Also, please don't forget to check the description box down below. We will have a lot of information, including our master data sheet and our website, which is acumen.com, and I'll see you guys in our next video.